Hello, today we're going to transcribe archiphonemes, okay? There are two archiphonemes in Spanish, the nasal one and the vibrante one, okay? So, archiphonemes occur only in phonemic transcriptions, so I'm going to write phonemic transcriptions. Can you see properly? Yes, okay. Contar is the first one, so we write con tar these two are the archiphonies all right then we have saltar so we write saltar and then we have sentarse i don't know why i'm speaking in english <laughs> Sentarse, okay? The phonetic transcription for contar will be like this. Contar. Then we have... Saltar. And sentarse. As you can see, archiphonemes occur only in phone phonemic transcriptions, not never in phonetic transcriptions. We, I have two more examples for you. Inventar. and cortan so for inventar the phonetic transcription would be inventar inventar okay why did i write an m because uh, we studied this in primary school. M before P or B. Yes, in Spanish. So the same happens when we speak. We say inventar. We never say in -ven inventar. No. We always say inventar. Inven inventar. Okay. The B is a strong B. Why? Because there is a nasal sound before it. So the nasal sound conditions the B to be strong, okay? Inventar. So we need the dental diacritic here because of the anti combination. Inventar, like this. And cortan. So we have stress mark. Cor. Sorry about my phone. Cortan, like this. So, as you can see, we have the vibrante and the nasal archiphonemes that occur only in phonemic transcription. Clear? You can now practice them.